Put the radiator cap back on. Once again, we want to make sure that our ball valves open on our upper radiator hose cross flow adapter so that when we start the vehicle, the coolant is allowed to circulate through the cross flow adapter. Next, we're going to start the vehicle. After the cleaner has had time to do its to do its job, do its cleaning, we're going to shut the vehicle off. At this point, this is what makes the CT2 as, as nice a machine as it is because we can go ahead and do the flush without having to have the vehicle running. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hook our service wands or our service hoses up to the vehicle. Our pump hose, we're going to want to go towards the back side of the thermostat. This is what's going to allow us to do the service with the thermos this is what's going to allow us to do the service with the engine turned off. We're going to push pressurized fluid to the back side of the thermostat which is going to push the thermostat open allowing the coolant to go through the through the cooling system through the engine back down through the radiator back up through the radiator back through our used hose back through our return hose to the waste jug of the machine. Now to do this, we're going to have to make sure we got our ball valve turned off. If our ball valve is turned on, our new fluid just come right in here, right through our new fluid hose or pump hose, straight through our cross flow adapter, right back to the tank. We want to achieve the flush. So we want to make sure that that is turned off. It does not matter which side that the ball valve is on. Next, we want to do the transfusion with the machine in transfusion, new fluid. So we want to switch our ball valve to transfusion. And we want to switch our switch to transfusion. As we can see, the new fluid's coming in the new fluid hose, and the used fluid's coming out the pump hose. We know the service is complete by two, by two ways. Either one, we've got a predetermined amount of fluid that we're going to run through the vehicle. When that amount of fluid is run through the vehicle, we're going to stop the service. Second, we can watch the two hoses, the new fluid hose and the used fluid hose. And when them two get to be the same color, we know we've done a good service. The service seems to be going fine. If we had, if the machine started clicking on and off or started acting funny, then we'd know that we've got something wrong. Either we're going the wrong direction against our thermostat, or we don't have a quick connect on right, or something of that nature. If the machine starts clicking on and off, that tells us that we've got, we've got a problem. If the machine does start clicking on and off, first thing we want to check is to make sure we're flowing the right direction through the cooling system. If we're going the right direction through the cooling system, then we want to make sure that we got all our quick connects on right. We're going to run a predetermined amount of fluid through this vehicle. We have also know we've done a good service because both our new and used fluid hoses have turned the same color. When we're satisfied the service is complete, we'll shut the machine off. We'll go ahead and disconnect from the vehicle. And we're going to want to take our cross flow adapter off of the vehicle. Open my ball valve. 
what we want to do, we want to be able to take the cross flow adapter off without making a mess once again. So we're going to have to lower the level of the radiator or the coolant. We're going to have to lower the level of the coolant in the radiator. Once again, we're going to remove a radiator cap. We're going to take our new our pump hose. Suction one once again. Put it in our radiator. We're going to have we're going to be pulling new coolant out because we've just put all new coolant into the into the vehicle. So we're going to put leave our ball valve on new fluid. We we'll go remove from vehicle. When we're satisfied we've got enough fluid out of the vehicle to remove the upper radiator hose cross flow adapter, we'll turn the machine off and we'll re remove the cross flow adapter. Put our operator hose back on. At this point, we're going to. At this point, we're going to add our conditioner. It'll be our super cool. That was enough to top off our radiator. If it wasn't enough to top off our radiator, we'd just use our suction wand. And we'd basically just put it in there and just go return the vehicle until we were satisfied with the coolant level. I'm satisfied with the coolant level. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to fill our overflow tank up. Go to return the vehicle. Turn that cap. Return the radiator cap. Remove all my connections from the machine. Remove my leads. I'm going to start the vehicle, make sure I don't have any leaks. 